Hello, I will be describing a method for isolating the surface of the brain from MRI images using only basic digital signal processing techniques. MRI brain segmentation is a difficult problem. The brain is a complicated organ with many structures of interest, as well as structures of non-interest. Separating the two is a challenging task. One artifact, illustrated to the right, is called bias field, in which there is a gradient of average brightness from one part of the scan to another. The goal of this project is to extract the exterior outline of my own brain surface from transverse sections of an MRI exam. We will be using the most basic of DSP techniques to do this, convolution, filtering, and thresholding. This is all we know. The first step is to apply a Laplacian of Gaussian edge detector to isolate the brain boundary. I have chosen a sigma of one pixel due to the very thin boundary between the brain and the skull, as shown here. Here is the result after filtering with the log. We see that the boundary we are interested in has become a gray outline around the brain. Thus, we can choose pixels with values between two empirically determined thresholds to isolate only this surface. After thresholding, we get this edge map. We apply a small smoothing operation in order to solidify the brain outline into a single continuous boundary. We isolate the largest blob, recognizing it must be the object of interest. Negating the image and selecting the second largest blob, we achieve the interior brain mask. Using MATLAB's binary morphology function, we keep only the outlying boundary of pixels. Here is the result overlaid with the original scan. Why is this useful? One application would be to approximate total brain volume by summing across multiple sections. Another application would be to observe change in brain area in a section of total volume in order to quantify atrophy or swelling. Utilizing this method, I was able to get an accurate brain section about 25% of the time. Even though this percentage was low, the operations are very fast, with each frame taking only about one second to compute. This would be much faster than more complicated methods from the literature. To improve this project, we could threshold based on a dynamic rather than static empirical value. Alternatively, we could utilize different edge detectors to see if they yield a better result.